Here's something to be proud of. A Northeast Ohio engineer is being credited with an invention that could revolutionize how engines are made. News 5's Clay Lepard explains Cleveland may be known as, uh, as home to heavy metal at the Rock Hall, but it's this new lighter and stronger metal that could generate billions. Tim Smith has a formal title here at NASA. This was actually a part that was being designed by uh, combustion engineers across the center. But problem solver may fit better. They wanted it to operate at 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And the metal that they could use to 3D print it uh, wasn't lasting up to those temperatures. It sounds like a great uh, you know, project for us. And that project helped create a new 3D printable metal alloy capable of lasting 2,500 times longer than other metals out there and in much hotter temperatures too. So that's not even as hot as it can handle. No, that's, this is boring temperature for it, yeah. How hot is this right now? 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit. And how hot can this alloy handle? Uh, it's really made for 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, can go higher. As this metal making cook points out, his recipe for this new super alloy can help create lighter and thinner engine parts and stronger than steel when it comes to the temperature it sees. Inside your rocket engine, um, inside of an uh, airplane engine. You know, right where that fuel's exploding to create your thrust, that's, that's where you'll see it. I knew it was going to be a good one. For so Amy Hiltabeitel, this invention stands out from the hundreds of new patents created at NASA Glenn every single year. Patents that can be licensed to U.S. companies to help with work beyond the walls of NASA. We estimate that this technology has the potential of billions of dollars of economic impact in the United States. It's pretty big. So far, four companies across the country have already licensed the new technology. I think I'm going to be working on this alloy for the rest of my career. I think I'm still going to be getting questions about it 20 years from now, and, and uh, I'm excited about that. You might not know it, but NASA is behind all sorts of inventions used in everyday life. Take Tempur-Pedic mattresses. The technology behind that was created to help astronauts absorb G-forces. And the lens on a chip on the back of your phone, that was developed in the 90s to make cameras smaller in space. At NASA Glenn Research Center, Clay Lepard, News 5. Is that amazing or what? I love that. I hope, Tim, you're getting paid, man. <laughs>